So in the last episode, I talked to you guys about a deal that my agent presented me with. He said he was going to start bringing me in some deals outside of the game of football. And the first deal he had was for me to be a member, be a cast member, a star of an upcoming Hollywood film. And I asked you guys last episode, do we want to take this major step away from football? Of course, football will always be our number one priority or do we just focus on football and forget the movie offer and it was probably the closest vote we have ever done on this channel 55 percent of you said no you do not want me to take the movie role so we pretty much told the producers the directors sorry man we don't want to be in this movie and we took off we headed back to get some more work in on the training grounds hey man um you know it was a close vote so i do apologize to the large majority of you who wanted me to take this offer but i gotta respect the larger amount of people that's why we do these votes whatever one gets the most votes is gonna win always in the end so again if i didn't choose your vote i'm sorry man i actually would have loved to go along with this movie storyline but you guys want me to focus on football in of course our overall goal of hopefully winning my first ever champions league trophy that would be the dream boys we shall see if we can do it and speaking of the champions league we're about to start things off here with the manchester city take a look at the groups here's how things are stacking up around europe from what i could tell there's a lot of strong groups but i'm unsure which one is the group of death there's my former team inter milan in the same group of ajax who if you guys are keeping up this series in real time they just knocked out real madrid in the champions league which is insane and you guys are going to see our group we are the final the last group here group h and we have a very tough group juve leverkusen of course med city and then red bull salzburg honestly we may be in the group of death but it's up to you guys to decide which group do you believe out of all of those is is the group of death put it down below in the comments be interested to know your guys's opinion but today is the day we make our champions league debut with manchester city our first ever champions league game we will be playing with them and this is gonna be a good year i have high hopes although we have a very difficult group and in our group of course is juventus who knocked us out of the champions league last season i'm still excited to get into this game and see what we can do and as we get into this one it's an away game here uh taking on a Bayer Leverkusen we're back in my home country of Germany so I got a lot of friends and family members in the audience for this one it feels weird to be back because we literally just left after training with Germany for the Euros and being back over there during the summer but um hey anytime I can come back here visit my home country of course, man, it is going to feel great. We're at the striker position, and let's go, man. Let's just get straight into this thing. See if we can pick up three points, pick up a few goals. If you don't remember, we were one of the top goal scorers in the Champions League last season. We were on fire. We just couldn't advance to the final of that competition. We're starting the game off with a foul, and you can see we have been in such great form Four goals in the last three matches. The hat trick definitely helped out my cause with those stats right there. And we're going for goal once again. Looking for one to start this game off. This one going to go up and over the crossbar though. Decent opportunity. Just wasn't going to be there for me. 24th minute. This time it's Leverkusen in this first half. Was full of plenty of chances from both sides here. 30th minute. Can I get one from a volley? No, I can't. You've got to be kidding me. What a phenomenal save from the keeper right there. 41st minute still. We're going strong, but no goals have been scored. This chance for Leverkusen hits off the crossbar and goes out of play right there. What is happening in this first half? So many missed opportunities from both sides. And that's how the first half would come to a close. Nil-nil is the scoreline. To be honest, I don't want to draw this game. Of course, I don't want to lose, but I would like to start out the Champions League with a win, especially considering the fact that we still got Juventus coming up, and that one's going to be so difficult. A win here would be huge, and if for some reason we lose, well, that'd be worst-case scenario. Things would be not looking too great for our hopes of making it. I know it's only the first game, but the first game means a lot in the Champions League group stage. And this is not good. 
This is not what we wanted. A goal for Leverkusen, 77th minute. Will it prove to be the game-winning goal? At this point in the game, it looks like it, man. We have been attacking, but the Leverkusen goalkeeper defense, they have been on point in today's game. Not conceding yet. And, well, we just conceded right here. Nice goal for Leverkusen as the minutes ticked on. We would have only a few more chances left to tie this game. And for a while, I didn't think that, that we would be able to do it. I honestly didn't think we would until an opportunity arose right here, boys. Here it was, a chance to tie it in my debut with City. spectacular goal by any means of the imagination but it's an equalizing goal nonetheless we got a nice counter attack to end the game literally it came in the 92nd minute there were two minutes of added time it could not have come at any later stage in this game and it was a goal that is going to get us a point i know i said i wouldn't be happy with the draw but the way that game finished um you can't help but feel happy the leverkusen fans are cheering no clue why, because they definitely should have won the game, and I conceded there at the end. We'll take it, man. One point. I know I wanted to win so badly. We have to take it. We just got to move forward. I guess one point on the road. Is it the worst? Definitely could have been better. Definitely could have been worse. But we got bigger challenges ahead in the Premier League, and then, of course, the Champions League. More Champions League action coming up in the next episode, but it's time to get back to England and get back in to Premier League action. So we have made it back, we have arrived home, and if you don't recall from the last episode, this is our new crib for the rest of the year. Our agent loaned us his house here in England. I'm sure you've seen it before because, you know, as I know, I explain it every time, but our agent is a former my player on the series. This was the house he lived in when he used to play for English clubs. And here we are in his old home. So yeah, boys, you be the judge. You've probably seen it before. And if you're a fan of GTA, as you know, I use GTA for the cutscenes. This is the house of Franklin. Since I have the um, Xbox version of GTA, I can't use mods or anything. So I kind of have to use what GTA gives us in terms of houses. But I have big, big news coming to the channel, coming to this series. I just got a PC. I've literally never owned a PC computer in my entire life. And I got one shipped to me soon. So I'm definitely gonna be downloading GTA on the PC. Gonna be trying to get as many mods as possible so that you guys are gonna see not only new characters, but new houses, new storylines. I'm gonna be able to do so much more with the PC version. And I'm thinking that when the PC comes in, it's gonna be soon. I'll probably wrap this series up within the next two months or so, so that when summer rolls around, I will start my third and final my player of FIFA 19 and is hopefully going to be one of the best my players I ever uh, have done because I'm going to be able to use the PC mods. So I'm going to save that for the final my player. Um, I hope you guys are excited for that. That one will potentially be a goalkeeper career mode. I did a goalkeeper career mode, if you don't remember, at the um, end of FIFA last year. And it, it did so well. The Lucas Lorenzo series, if you haven't seen it, the storylines there were probably some of the best storylines I've ever done in the series. So I would highly recommend checking out the Lucas Lorenzo goalkeeper series. But another goalkeeper series going to be coming back towards the tail end of FIFA. Um, what I can't even remember. FIFA 19. Yeah, last year was FIFA 18. I'm just, I'm so lost, man. Um, let's just get back into the action. See if we can grab a goal. Yes, we can. 28th minute. We're taking a Leicester City in this game. Fondly enough, and like shockingly, you probably saw as we were getting into this game, we are not in the top 10 in the league, which is insane. We need to pick up a few more wins here, guys. We need to get back into the top 10. I know it's early in the season. We got a lot of time to make up those points, but I want to be a team that just dominates the league all season long. 
kind of like we did with Inter. At least for the majority of the season, we were dominating with Inter. I would love to do that this season as well. And I'm hoping that this year it should be a lot more easy. Since we're playing with Man City, our team definitely a lot stronger. We got a lot more high-rated players. And yeah, overall, we should be able to win the league. But you got to remember that we are a few seasons into career mode now. I think, what, yeah, this is the third season, right? A lot of players that were once good at the beginning of the career mode are slowly declining in rating. And a lot of the players that were maybe in the low 80s are now rising to the um, upper 80s, potentially 90 overall. So that's one thing you got to take into account. Like Messi, Ronaldo, I'm pretty sure they're both retired at this stage. If not retired, they're both very low rated and not doing too much. That's just the way career mode works, unfortunately. I would like for things to be different in career mode. I hope that's one thing they change during the um, the next installment of FIFA. Of course, there's a lot of things that EA need to change on FIFA 20 in terms of career mode. Probably need to make like a new updated video on that where I kind of talk through, um, you know, all my wishes for the my player for career mode in FIFA 20. I know I'm an EA game changer and all that, but to be honest, I really I have no say in what's put in to the newest installments of fifa the game changer program basically only allows me at the moment to make suggestions and then report like bugs and fixes to career mode and other game modes that's about it other than that don't have too much control again that's all stuff i should probably talk about in a different video this is the my player series and this game was kind of boring but we ended up with a one no win so hey who really cares we'll take the three points and as we arrived back home i started thinking to myself I need a new change in look, not maybe apparel wise, but in this way right here is something that I don't do in a lot of my players. Do you think that we should grow a beard on Julian Weber to change up his look, his style? I need you to let me know in the comment section down below. Is this something that you would like to see added? If so, which hairstyle should we go with which beard facial hairstyle i should say put it down below in the comment section and well first off you need to vote in the top right hand corner grow a beard or no facial hair it is up to you guys i want to change my hairstyle so bad but i haven't unlocked any of the new hairstyles yet i need to get more accomplishments achievements all that another problem with career mode is it needs dicks but that's to be worried about a later date vote in the top right hand corner boys and hey I'm just so happy to be here at this place, in this amazing house, this amazing city. I'm just hoping that I can bring home a few trophies this year for Man City. We'll see though, that's all coming in the future. Thousand likes boys, next episode will be up as soon as possible.